Watch for the premiere of Catwalk, October 3rd at 8 on Channel 9. So, just got done watching Howard Stern. He's funny, huh? Yeah. I love him. Guess what? He's going to be on the show tonight on Spotlight Cafe. Howard Stern. Yep. Stuttering John and the Naked Lesbian Dating Game. Right on Spotlight Cafe tonight. Yeah. It's going to be great. Howard, John. Girls are like other girls. Yeah. Welcome to Spotlight Cafe. Brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft. Cold filtered for real draft taste. So get out of the old and get into the cold. Tonight's show featuring Teddy Bergeron, Henriette Mantel, and Jeff Lipschultz. And now, here's the man who's too damn cocky for his own damn good, Dennis Leary. the show how are you hey, hey. hey you know you know what i hate this guy right here i hate this guy look at him chris what do you think of this guy he sucks let's get him now let's wait till after the show let's be professional all right we'll do the show then we'll get him we're gonna chop him up and make hamburgers out of him right after the show but first let's bring on our first comedy guest you've seen him on the tonight show with johnny carson on the late night live with david letterman please welcome Teddy Birds are on, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Well, look at all the beer. <laughs> no, see, see, I don't drink. I just came from an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't have to go, I just like to tease them. <laughs> I, like to, I like to sit in the back with a can of carbonated soda and really, really shake it. So when you open it, it's like... <laughs> you try to time it according to what the speaker says. After 27 years of sobriety, I can finally stand here in front of you beautiful people. And for the first time in my life, I can honestly say, that I have completely lost the desire to drink. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. I really don't drink. I'm, I'm following my New Year's Eve resolutions. Uh, today I went to Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, I went to Smokers Anonymous. I went to Gamblers Anonymous. <laughs> Spent so much time anonymous, I forgot who the hell I was. <laughs> So I had to go to Anonymous Anonymous. <laughs> Done a lot of weird things today. Now here's, now here's the thing. I came to New York and I heard about this doctor who gives hair shots. Injections in your skull that grow your hair. So I, I went over to his office, I found out they use female hormones. So I asked the nurse if I could speak with the doctor and she said, No, I am the doctor. <laughs> but, but I love New York City. I, I love it here. I, I'm getting into the city. Today I went to the welfare office. I told them I had a problem with my eyesight. They said, what's wrong? That I can't see going to work. <laughs> but our government uses money wisely. I was reading in the paper about the events of 1991. They spent $150 billion on the Hubble scope that takes pictures in outer space. $150 billion. You know what they discovered? A third moon over Neptune. And I don't know about you folks, but my life has been going through some amazing changes. <laughs> Since I found out about the third moon, I just wish I could have been there when they broke the news to the Ethiopians, you know? <laughs> just to see the smiles on the little children's face when they heard about the third moon, because the second moon had them dancing in the desert. <laughs> well, I, I come from Boston. That's, uh... I went to college in Boston, a lot of colleges there. I, I loved college because I didn't have to study. I partied all the time because why study? They give you essay questions on your finals. I'm sure, just like you, you'd show up like an hour late, you know. 
Explain the Industrial Revolution. Well, when explaining the Industrial Revolution, one must go into great detail. Because <laughs> the Industrial Revolution was unlike other revolutions, such as the American Revolution, the Indian Revolution. The Industrial Revolution was unlike revolutions in other parts of the world, such as the Spanish Revolution, the Austrian Revolution, the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution. If you'd like to discuss this with me any further, I'll be at my desk. I played hockey in college. I like hockey because they play when they're injured. That's what's good about those. They're macho. They play. Not like a baseball player. Anything bothers them, they're gone for the season. <laughs>